Okay, well, today we are going to learn how to achieve this launch bag. This is what we are going to learn today. So I'm going to put you through on the the cutting. So we are going to learn both the cutting and the sewing. But today's tutorial is going to be on the cutting. So let's get started. So now the um, side does the back and the sides are cut together the side and the back are cut together so and what i have is 17 by nine and a half the width the width is 17 the height is nine and a half so on the side i have 4.5 four and a half and 4.5 four and a half so Four and a half plus four and a half is nine inches. So seventeen minus nine, what will remain is eight inches. So this eight inches is the back. Your back will be eight inches. So we are going to shape it. So how do we shape it? Since we have from here to here four and a half, on this side we are going to take four and a half here. So from this four and a half, we just make a curve, slight curve, connect it together. But when we cut out this, we use it to shape this side. So this is for the back. Back. 17 by 9.5. Now, for the front, this front that started from here to this point, what I have for the front is front. I have 18 by 8 So as we get the 8 the back is already 8 here. So we use 8 here for the height of our bag Because this part is going to be sewn on this part this part So now how did I get the 18? So how to get our 18 is that this our 17 17 divided by 2 will give us 8 and half 8.5 this 17 here you divide it by 2 it will give you 8.5 so you now do this 8.5 plus 9.5 the height the height of the bag this 9.5 here when you add it together it will give you 18 that's how to get the wideness of the front so this is our front and how do we shape the front we are not in this we shape at the width for the back why the front we are going to shape at the height so what you will do is that you here you measure two inches come down here measure two inches then you now curve it this way then you use this to shape this side that's how we do our front and this down here we are not going to shape anything so all these things that i explained now i'm going to put it in in my leather two inches here here also i'm taking two inches so the next thing is to make a curve So this is the front, I'm done shaping it, then for the back, 
we are going to mark out our side of 4.5 inches Do some on this side also. So after marking out my sides, this is what I have: 4.5 inches here, 4.5 inches here, and here is 8 inches. So from here to here is 4.5 inches. So I'm going to come down by the side by 4.5 inches. So. I'm going to now make a curve from here to here. Just this is my curve. What do I have from here? Let me be sure. Okay, at one and three quarter inches about one and three quarter inches so now i'm going to cut it out so this is it now so i'm going to fold it over to shape the other side I'm using it to shape the other side. You see it? You see that the line have shown? So I'm going to trace the line and use it to cut out the other side. To be sure, you put it together. So, at this damp part, you have to notch the middle. So, this is it for the back. Now, we are going to use this tool to cut out lining and our foam if you are using foam fine but i'm in for this tutorial i'm going to use macro i've already cut out my macro this is my macro so what i did the front that is 18 inches by eight this is the front 18 inches by eight so what i have for my macro now is 17 inches by 7. I reduced 1 inch this side and 1 inch this side. I did the same thing on the back. So now we are going to shape our marker. What you will do now is that you bring this like this and use it to shape the marker. To be on the same side, you cannot get the mid of your, your foam. Get the mid and make sure that the middle is at the same middle with your leather. So after indicating the middle of your macro, I've also indicated the middle of my leather. I'll just put it on it this way. Make sure that the mid two middles are matching together. So, you dress it. You 
You also trace the other side. So I'll cut it out. I will do the same on this. I'll put the middle of my leather together with the middle of my macro and use it to shape it. Okay, now that I'm done shaping it, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to work first on my cartoon character. Know that this cartoon character is bigger. The wideness of this cartoon character now is bigger than my front. So that means I have to indicate the middle of this cartoon character. I have to indicate the middle. So this will help me to arrange it well. So I'm going to use my belt to tape it on this side. After taping it on this side, I will sew it here. But for me to know the particular place I will sew it, first, I will come down by one and a half inches. That is for my belt. I will centralize my belt on this one and a half inches point. Take one and a half inches. Then, you will centralize your belt here and so. Then for the cartoon character, you go down by three inches. Three inches. So this is where I will position my, this is where I will start to sew my cartoon character. Why this is from my handle. Now, for the handle, I'm using this leather. I have nine and a half inches by three inches. So I'm going to just fold it into two. I will tape it on this side and also on this side. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is where we will end it for the cutting tutorial. The next tutorial will be the sewing tutorial. So thank you for watching till this time. God bless you. See you in the sewing tutorial.